Hello, so today I'm going to be talking to you about Black Daisy. Uh, the reason I'm doing the spotlight right now is actually because she's currently the special boss you can get. And with the pass nerf, she has actually gained a lot in value. As a lot of people are trying to find a replacement for Celia and Luca. I'm not saying that she's epic and she's going to replace them and do something completely different. But she is now a viable option depending on what kind of strike or team you're running. So the first thing is uh, she's basically a frontline assister. Her best position is front center mid. It's going to affect her action speed, reflex, dribble, defense and critical. We're both very interesting stats. But again, as you can see, except for the action speed and crit, they're not really that great of buffs. Again, it's it's not the end, it's multipliers, these are her base stats. So, to look at her on a skill level, she's got two skills who I personally like. The first thing is, she has a very nice active. She can increase critical damage for the team for 15 minutes by 50%. And game wise usually your entire team is going to be able to crit on every single hit. Uh, when you're trying to run a striker, uh, for a lot of strikers who don't have high critical damage but a high critical rate, it can be very interesting to activate this buff. It is pretty expensive, 1.5 bars, but it's going to actually pay back for itself with one of the other skills. So I find I accept for the fact it's not a heal skill, it's it's a pretty similar setup as you're gonna see with the Vonchi ideal as her second passive, I'm gonna come back to the first one after, is the ability to recover 15% of spirit for each ally within the position with an action. So usually if you're gonna throw in a front line, you're gonna have three allies, you're gonna be recovering 45% of a bar every time you move. So pass the ball left, use an active to your passer, and um, I mean, use an active to your striker, and then have your striker shoot. That alone is basically gonna give you back around 1.2 bars. So it, it pays back for itself, and on every other move, it's basically gonna be a great spirit generator on itself. Then her second skill is increased reflex and critical rates. Uh, the value is fairly low, there are a lot of totems who have this much better. Um, so that is one of the drawbacks. But reflex and critical rate, the reflex, um, yeah, the reflex is more for stealing the ball, the critical rate for the striker. So it's kind of balanced, especially since a lot of the time the problem was people without reflex you to get out. And now people are changing the passer build. So having more reflex in front line nowadays is slowly becoming something more important. And her very last skill is more one of those selfish skills, who is decrease inflicted damage by 20%, increase reflex by 20%. So, on a skill setup, I think it's fairly obvious that you would basically do the active. Depending on how much spirit regain your team has, you would alternate between these two, maybe max this one out and then give two free points here. And the final build would normally be a 5-5-5-3, as this skill is extremely inferior to this one and only helps her not even to a degree which we could find interesting. A stone could do better than this alone. Now where I find she shines is her stone slots, because she has one of three different elements. What this means is she can use any unique stone of these three elements. So you can build her very differently based on your team. If you're using her because you want a buff, what's very nice is going to be this redstone right here. Because you're going to be able to go on what I find as one of the best uniques in front and back line is going to be EMB. Uh, e e EBM. I, I kind of mix, mix it up. It's Endless Burning Matter. It's going to decrease the attack power of enemies within the position. So it's weakening the people on the other side. It's going to increase the damage that the enemies within the position receive. This is something extremely powerful 
when you're trying to shoot for a line because you're going to see they're going to be very resistant so this is going to allow not only to keep the ball to higher the damage and basically overall buff the line so just for that one red slot i would say it's worth it being able to throw this in front line is great but in case this isn't the build you're going for there are other options uh such as I would say maybe Ancient Stormer, increase action speed, recover action bar with an attack. If you really want to spirit, spirit generate, maybe you got something that really needs generation. I don't know what exact setup would need this. Maybe if you had two passers and a striker with an active that costs 1.5 passers with, with high cost or something like that. And then you want to use also her active. Maybe throwing this could be interesting. And in the dark side, I would really say... Battalion could be interesting. It's it's when you hold the ball. Maybe use her as a ball holder. So again, I'm gonna be in my opinion the best one is gonna be endless burning matter. And if for some reason you prefer, there's also Terra Dox Blood because she increases crit rate and it would be functional. So I'm gonna be pushing for an endless burning matter build, but there are two builds who I'm gonna say are the most viable for her. So I'm just going to go back to show her stone setup. So in her stones, in the red one, I would be throwing an endless burning matter. In the green one, in case you're not throwing the speed stone, the, um, the unique speed stone, you can throw a green speed stone. It's, they're, they're just great. Um, now the question is, she gives reflex. She's going to be working as a stealer either way. So if you're throwing an EMB, here you're gonna want to throw here a dark reflex um it's it doesn't have any special passive but that's because these two are already really good uh you would throw a dark reflex and here you would throw a uh, light or outdoor reflex depending on your preferences giving her two reflex a line reflex buff and a passive personal reflex buff who is actually very powerful when all added up if you, you don't want that, you can end up place just put a red reflex, a red reflex, uh, maybe a dark action speed stone, and throw something else in the green slot. It, again, it, it's up to you, but you get a lot of choice thanks to this. And again, EMB is great. Now, the sad part. Her chains. So first of all, the first one is with four stars, arrival. It is clearly uninteresting. The second one is an affection chain. Now, it's with actually two very good players. The problem is, the one right here is called Alice. I also really want her, by the way. She has great stats, but she has not been obtainable for over a year. So, we don't know when she's coming. She might be coming soon, she might not. And when she does, unlike uh, most players, she was one of those... Uh, special boss matches were extremely hard so even when she does come if they follow the same formula a lot of people might still not be able to get her uh, black ivy is actually a pretty decent player it depends your formation your setup but you could throw her in so it's it's actually not that bad of a chain but again alice is the prop then if we look third, it's going to be a bunch of rivals, five stars we've been getting recently. Um, if you've been playing for the last few months, you should normally have all three of them. Um, I personally don't see any synergy between any three of them and her. But again, that's up to your teams. Whatever you're using, it's up to you. You might find something. In worst case, if they're on the enemy team. But again, these are decent players. But unless you're really setting them up for it, they're not that great, so commonly people are not using them. And the last but not least, what I would consider the best chain is Vitos. So he is, in my opinion, the, the best Dark Striker on the, the one-hit KO principle. Then there's also Lucid, who's also very good. Before people start attacking me, uh, I'm thinking of a certain person on our forum who keeps asking Paradox for callouts on his video. I think he's called Extalia. I can't pronounce his name, but there was a callout. I just want to point that one out. So, again, it's, it's a pretty powerful... Uh, you have all three of her skins. I, I honestly, I wouldn't go for her EE skin. I would just go for Evolve skin. I just find it really nice. 
but that's that's a personal choice question so what team would you use her with because that's what a lot of people are going to be asking what i would think would be really interesting would be throwing her in a line with a striker who has a moderately high amount of crit but medium to low level crit damage to increase that exponentially and make him more powerful uh, as it of course seems obvious we could throw in with a vetoes to max out on that chain um, and with one of the new dark passers whose chains have been revamped in the patch um, it could be a very interesting combination uh, I forgot the passer's name, so I'm just gonna slide down to find her in the list. Oh, uh, da da da. And she is right here. So Shura is the passer who I would say this has a great synergy with. Decrease enemy critical resistance at the same time increasing your own resistance. Uh, increase critical rate and reflex within the position a second time. And, um... Increase pass effect, target receive. Again, this is not even her EE version. I don't even think she has an EE, she just has a superb. But I think that those two plus uh, a dark passer or different types of passer using the crit rate, lucid, uh, not really Ravian, but the reflex stack is pretty interesting. So I would say that she has uh, a great synergy with Shura. So if you have Shura, you have some sort of striker, this is a very decent buff to add to your team. Um, I have not yet EE'd mine. Uh, for the regular evolution, it was some materials you get from the match. They're special characters, so you're going to want to do this before it ends. It's basically the usual cost, but the special characters are something you can only get at this time. And you, you might need to wait months before they fall again, especially since Zdarek has different sets of special characters for boss fights. So just get them. EE her, well not EE, max her the first level and then EE her when you can. But that's what you should be looking out for. Because if you wait, you might need to wait a really long time bef before you can evolve her again. So I hope this has helped uh, people understand her use. I sadly do not have a team where her, her skills could be valuable in any way. Um, so I'm not actually going to be able to show some good gameplay with her. Um, but if anyone wants to contribute that and add a link about it on the, the comments, uh, that could be great for the description and for people just to see how she works. But again, it's been a long time since she's been a drop, so not, not a lot of people are going are gonna to have videos that are recent of her usage. So I hope this has helped you understand the value of Black Daisy. And um, again, EMV, Shura, that would be a great boost for her and any striker. That's my opinion. If you want to build her differently, if you want to give her a different assist. Again, she is a decent player. She's not the greatest. She's not the worst. It's really a question of positioning. And if you put her in the right setup, she's going to make a great line buff. Thank you very much and have a good day.